yeah so uh today's session is second session for week 12 anyone have any kind of doubt please let me know so sir uh, i had a few doubts in week 12 yes what is your doubt name so i had a few doubts in uh first of all sir in activity questions okay let me present my screen first so activity question 12.3 okay. question 3 and 4 Swiss question number sir uh, question three and four okay consider a uh, differential equation this with initial condition this which of the following options is are true so what is the doubt here so sir uh, how are we supposed to solve it So to solve first order differential equation, so this is first of all, this is first or first order differential equation, and uh, okay. So this is first order differential equation, and if we, uh, when you have the first order differential equation. How we'll solve anyone? So this is y prime plus y is equal to one upon one plus x square. So how we'll decide the order? The this tells you know, a term which have you know the containing the highest means how many times are diff, uh, our equation have uh, sorry uh, how many times in in equation how many terms contain you know differentiating terms differentiating terms how many times it contains so this is first order differential equation because it is only once it is different uh, y function is differentiated here so how we'll solve this problem anyone is here since this is first order so mm -hmm. first of all uh, we'll consider the term e raised to power r x uh, then we'll multiply it with q uh, q uh, to the function of t and then we'll integrate it Yes, so not e power r here is totally depend on here p y is there. So what is this one? So what is the process? Guess. Yeah, so p is one. So first of all, our equation will be uh, basically we'll consider e raised to power y. E raised to the power x. Solution here is that. We'll take here e power x and multiply both side by that. Let me show you, you know, not y, e power x. So let's see with you know how sir is solving. Hmm. 
So here is that. So if it is of this form, P is a constant, Q is you know, a function. So basic idea is try to convert to easy case. So if E power X is not equal to zero, E power PX. So here is P is what one. In our case, the coefficient will be taken here. So E power X will multiply both sides. So here it will be E power X Y prime plus e power x y equal to e power x 1 plus x square, right? So this is the case. Now, what will be then? So what is this, this term? This term will be exactly this, right? Why it is so? Anyone? Why it is so? Why this term is exactly the derivative of e power x y? Prithvi, Tanishka, any uh idea? Product rule. Sorry? Product rule. Yeah, product rule. Simply the reason is product rule. If you open this, you will get this. Because of you know product of two function e power x and y, y, y is also a function, right? Some some x. Y is also a function of x. Because of that, we'll apply here. So product rule on you know two functions and differentiating differentiating that. We'll get this now what is the next step we'll integrate now so both sides will be integrated so if we integrate we'll get this only left side and right side will be integration of one plus x square dx and now next is constant will come here so what is that this is our function so our function is here q Qx is nothing but this one. This is our Qx. Okay. Now we'll try to find the antiderivative of this one after multiplying e power x. What is the antiderivative? So we don't know the antiderivative. So just thinking that integration of e power 1 plus x square. We'll do later, but let's see this is going to be so antiderivative of this plus constant c. Now, fi finally, what it will be? Now, will my both side both side will multiply by e power minus x. If you multiply both side by e power minus x, so left will be what? e power x into e power minus x. Y e power minus x integration e power x upon one plus x square plus c e power minus x. So finally, what you so these two terms will be one now. Sir, e could you explain this step again. So the second last line that we have mentioned e, e power x y equals to integration of e to the power x upon one plus x square. After mm -hmm. that, uh, what did we use? Did we use uh, i late? I late? Sorry. I mean, how did we integrate it? So I don't know. So it's. Now the options will tell you now if it is i think it contain uh, uh not it is not integrated i think what is that in options so but in the options we will answer here yes so, okay so what is here so it is not integrated so sorry it is not finally integrated it is now the limit is there I mean y is equal to y2 is equal to 3 is there to see that the terms tells you that what is what it will be okay now okay so the next step is so here it will be what finally finally we got y is equal to e power minus x integration e power x upon one plus x square plus c e power minus x this is the function we know now 
the initial condition not in ini initial condition this the condition uh, just sir one quick doubt yes i think uh, we could have easily reached this step if mm -hmm. we directly considered integration of uh, the our, our last term uh, multiplied by e raised to power uh, x if you could just open the uh, note pad once mm -hmm. yeah this yeah that's all right yeah till here i had solved okay then next is yeah after this i couldn't solve so now we have this no this condition in initial condition is given this is not initial condition initial condition is generally yeah so we go we can call it yeah so the initial condition is given here okay. initial condition y 2 is equal to 3 is given so that means y2 will substitute here so this is e power minus 2 okay and then so this this is the integration so if you integrate we will get you know some function we but we don't want this so that means what is going to be finally so here is okay c power minus 2 but the thing is what will be here So y2 is equal to 3 is given here, 3. So see, that's why here the term says c is not there. c is not there, it is. It will, c will be eliminated because the initial condition is given here. So how, how will get this, anyone? Anyone have tried this? Aniska, what will be next? we made a mistake here something uh, no it's fine sir actually our equation is correct mm -hmm. the uh, the big box is correct mm -hmm. but below that i'm not sure i mean yeah we're just putting y as two right mm -hmm. which is three we got yeah we, we got uh, we got three yeah three now what will be this the thing is i'm unable to uh, make out uh, that how are we supposed to do definite integration wherein uh, whereas the definition uh, the integration given here is indefinite right mm -hmm. answer uh, can we use that formula uh, that uh, multiplication rule of integration multiplication rule of integration yeah that i laid thing yes so but we don't want no we it will be continuing with you know uh oh okay uh, the answers are in uh, are in yeah got it so answers are in the integration form so why we want this so we don't want this okay we want to find the value of c from here using this we have to find the value of c so 
let's do now the next step is this will be 3 is equal to e power minus 2 so that means here e power minus 2 is there so that means we can take common e power minus 2 but this part is so here is we have to do something so this but i think we should not take common because we need to find the value of c right so uh, if you put c on right hand side and put all of the other stuff on left hand side can we do that yeah so why okay okay so first of all we have to be carefully substitute here no finally the that you know integration that what is going to be this part this is a function of x it should be a real number it will be a real number so how we could deal this What is going to be the value? So if we integrate here, uh, So here is y is equal to 2. So just a second. So y is equal to 2. So this is um, minus 2 this is square. Okay. This will be integration. So this is an initial condition is given. So two will be here. The initial means the starting. So that means two will be here. The end limit will be from two. And uh, that's fine. And uh, this will be till go. OK, so initial condition is given. So that's thing here. It will be x. OK, but still we don't want this. Uh, Okay, I will back to this. Okay, we'll discuss this one. How it is? How it will come? Let's first the finish the the thing is that uh, C value. So I will back to this. So let's keep as in your the option as the option is given. Okay, I will back to this. I will discuss this one. So let's find the value of C. So this will be e minus two. Okay, it will be. We'll take the con, uh, C. Sorry, e e power minus two. Continue. Uh, sorry, common. So it will be integration two x as let's take this one so here is x is there so we could change the variable because of x is we are taking here so if you are x is there we can change as just so here it will be ds plus c so that means here it will be 3e is equal to integration to uh, 2x e power s 1 upon 1 plus x square ds plus c so finally c equal to what c equal to integration 2x e power x 1 plus here it will be yes ds and plus here it will be 3 minus Here is a square will come here, 3 square. Yes. So 3 square minus integration 2 to x e power x 1 plus x square ds. C value we got now. So finally, now we'll substitute here C value. We will use this C value and substitute. 
so that means y is equal to e power minus x so we can take again e power minus x we can take common as we, we want so e power let's keep it out e power x minus common so this is integration this is e power x dx okay. and this is plus c we got 3 e square minus integration will like we have to anyhow manage this integration with the, the both that the first integration we have so this is integration to 2x and this is e power s ds yes that's all so this is our solution here now finally e power minus x this is 3 square minus integration. So here is two function. One is indefinite and first one is indefinite. The second one is definite. So just a second. So this is e power x. 1 plus x square dx. Okay, this is plus here. This is minus 2x e power ds okay now let's see the option first and anyhow will sir, yes yeah what is the number of this question sir aq 12 by n3 third question okay sir okay so our matching option which option is matches here but we it is in the part we are this part is not correct we are missing something so but e power minus x is out so this is 3 e square this is fine so two options e power minus x e power minus x will be out here is 3 e square both contains e power x here is which one contain the 1 plus x square so 1 plus x square will be so this this option is so the second option is going to be true so sir we are going from the option to the question just see that the our similar options because we till now we reaches this is not correct we have to anyhow manage this i did wrongly so this term is nothing but the, the both the term is nothing but this is 2 power x e power s 1 plus s square ds this term will be this one sir hmm. sir in the question uh, y dash plus y in that y dash means uh, derivative of y with respect to what sir sorry sir in the question uh, it is given as uh, y dash plus y is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square, no, sir? Hmm. Sir, in that y dash means differentiation of y with respect to which one, sir? With respect to x. Okay, so here is only the, you know, y values while substituting. Here is we are missing something, so... So what is that? This is the initial condition is given. No? So here is it means that uh, see this function is x till x. This is it's fine. See so here what we if, if we substitute here to. 2 will be substituted here. This is integration part. Minus 2.
please please don't mute yourself Hello, sir. Can I ask a doubt? Yes, yes. Sir, is the first question in the graded assignment correct? First question. Oh. This graded assignment of week 12. Yes, sir. Which of the following a differential equation is linear? So, what is going to be the definition of linear differential equation? What is the definition of linear uh, differential equation, Sanjeev? So, so yeah, there is a problem in the first pro the first problem of this week twelve. It is an error in the first problem. That's fine. But what is the definition of linear differential equation? What sir gave the definition? Sir, linear meaning it should have maximum of. Uh, of uh, like single first order differentiation first order so that is that is going to be first order differential equation what is the meaning of linear differential equation I think sir is not saying that what is the definition of linear differential equation. Somewhere it will be. I am not sure. Where, where is that? Sir, isn't it simply uh, an equation in the form of uh, f dash of x plus uh, px equals q? No, simply the linear definition, linear differential equation is that there will not be any you know if it is function if you are, our differential equation is let's say y prime plus y is equal to let's say 2 okay so here it will be it will not be the case of this one this x into y prime okay this x x into y prime or let's say or the second thing is that yeah this will be the possible this y into x could be there but this k should should not be there so here is that multiplied with you know there will be no multiplication in or uh, the with the difference differential what is the differentiating order so this one not order whatever the term is contain the differentiating term is there it will be not multiplied by 
any kind of function of x. That's the definition of linear differential equation. So it, it is not going to be multiplied by a function of x. Okay. It will be multiplied by a constant that would is fine, but it will not be multiplied by a kind of function. This is fine. This this is fine, but this is this is not going to be the case. Okay, so now according to that, we have to choose options. I think uh, as the definition is there, so that's the fine. I think then it is correct. Sir. Yes. So technically, all are wrong, right? So no not all wrong some terms contain you know only the there is no so if we still the date is remain so otherwise we have to check which one is not containing you know of this case which i am saying here x time the function of x and y prime this is fine this could be there so sir basically y dash should not be there y dash will be there but it will be not multiplied by a kind of function fx for example uh, if uh, we have fy and for example y is multiplied with that that's all right sorry sorry if we have y into fy y into fy y into f y yeah uh, that 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 is going to be fine that is fine similarly y square or y cube into f y is also all right yeah it is fine but the problem be with you know this term the order of which contain differentiating like differential term okay Or we can just check uh, definition linear. I think that is fine as of now. I know linear differential equation. Here it says, you know, in Q math, it says uh, here P and Q should be constant. Okay. Or a function of X. No. So it could be anything. So here, so that's fine here. So this could be, you know, P and Q could be a function or constant. constant that's fine. So here is the main term. Y prime y prime should not contain or y prime const uh, co con sorry coefficient should not be a function of x this is the condition as i as so that's fine what i am saying that is correct so here that should so co sorry coefficient coefficient of y prime should not contain any function of x constant will be fine non constant function of x okay this this could be there this is fine this is fine here could be any function of x here could be any function of x but at this place there should be there should not be any function of x non constant function not be there constant could be fine but non constant not be there for with the differential term And for this problem, okay, uh, I think number for this problem, we have to go with you know with the options. So that's the only thing I am looking. Here is uh, I'm not getting the idea how to substitute this. So here is matching term, which giving the correct one. So these terms we are getting, these terms will be you know separated. 
but what is going to be the correct term is not there is not at this time i am not getting i will back to you but yeah correct option is we are reached to the correct option it is y2 value y add 2 is going to be what we will do in the integration here is i think here you know initial condition is given and some you know here it will be uh, 2 to something is there i am just missing this time something is there while substituting in the integration something will do Thing will do and here is at here this one uh so what is that or, or we can go with the option y so it is given that the so integration 2 to x 1 e power x 1 plus x square ds is there so, so got, uh, that is not an issue uh i mean it's all right if you get back to me later on that Yes, uh, yes. I, but I also had doubt in question four. Okay. I yeah. think this is uh, relatively easier, but uh, I couldn't solve it. There is something it will be, and it will be merged with, you know, this. These two will be merged with this term. I will back to this. Okay. I will back to this. How we will put the value in the integration? Otherwise, finally, what is the final thing is that we have to find the integration of this one and then substitute two. That's all. What is going to be integration of this one? Integration e power x, 1 plus x square. Have you tried this? Uh, no, sir. I mean, I mean, I did, but uh, I forgot. I mean, I didn't forget, but I couldn't apply the formula correctly. I think the formula is uh, u d v something like that. Yeah, something is there. So if we will assume i is equal to this, so what is the, here is that if I assume i is equal to this, not i. So here is going to be e power x first part and second part. Uh, e power x and something is there. So e power x one plus first part will be as it is so here is e power x so if integration is that e power x integration 1 plus x square sorry 1 upon 1 plus x square minus derivative of the first term e power x will be same integration of 1 upon 1 plus x square dx whole dx so this is e power x this is tan inverse x minus integration e power x this is tan inverse x dx. Now again, it is a bit complication. This is okay. So this is dx. Again, we have to take the first and second term. So here is what we can do. So this is integration e power x. So we'll take this part as you know first or or we this part is first and this part is second so integration of the first part is going to be for x sorry so integration of first part so, you know, so this is the first part this is the second part we want to differentiate this so that means here integration of e power x is e power x same and uh, this is tan inverse x this is minus now differentiation of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square integration and e power x integration is the same e power x then finally dx so if you assume this integration is i the same 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 thing will get here 2i is integration of this term and this will come here and 1 by 2, 1 by 2 something will come, 1 by 2 and this e power x and inverse x. Then do, will 1 by 1 it will be, okay. So this this will be of the iteration we will get here. And this is 1 by 2, i, I integration of will get here, I, 1 by 2 e power x, tan inverse x, something will get here. So we can substitute by this way or with the, go, we'll go with the option wise, okay.
द फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम यस सर ओके सो कंसीडर अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दिस विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन इज गोइंग टू बी करेक्ट सो अगेन ई पावर सेवन एक्स विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड हियर so e power 7x yeah, the yes. final equation that i got was mm -hmm. y equals to integration of mm -hmm. yeah so y equals to y equal to integration of e to the power minus 7x multiplied by um i mean in the same uh, same integration bracket only uh yeah multiplied by e raised to power minus 7x okay bracket close plus c into e raised to power minus 7x yes that's fine yeah now where do we go after this so it will be integration of e power minus 14x dx plus c e power minus 7x so so okay let me try it so this is y prime okay plus 7 y is equal to e power minus 7x so here is the same way e power minus 7x will be multiplied y prime so yeah and plus 7y so here is e power minus 7y 7y will be there and here is e power minus 7x into e power minus 7x now this term will be e power minus 7x y this one will get and this is e power minus 14x now we will the integrate now so this is e power minus 7x y this will be what e power integration of e power minus 14x and plus c so finally y is equal to e power minus 7x integration e power minus 14x plus c times e power minus 7x so what is the integration of e power minus 14x e to the power minus 14x upon 14 upon minus 14 14x upon minus 14 this will get here so this is minus 1 upon 14 and this will be e power minus 21 right so or we can take common now so we can take as okay so there is a, i think there is an error then in the options so e power 14x is giving some or 7 will come somewhere this is e this is given x plus c no it is wrong this is wrong here sir yes sir uh, in the third question of this uh, practices and activities okay we'll back to this we'll back to this so here yeah there is an error in that so yeah this is fine so this is going to be or we can take e power minus x minus 7x as common so this is going to be e power minus 7x common and this is minus 1 by 14 is there e power minus 14 or, or, or yeah, 14x plus c 
this is not x this will be this one yeah, there is a return in that no man okay there is this is an error we ha i have noted it this is an error sir sorry sir yes uh, but one of the responses is closer to it can you go back to the four options this one yeah in this only e power mm. minus x multiplication of x plus c is coming e power minus x what i am talking about is option b option b yes yeah, yeah so this is this is this is wrong this is wrong options are wrong actually here is sir, not even x is come uh, will come here some different will be there 1 upon uh, minus 14 is there sir i am getting this response only uh, this response this yeah. one the second one yes b option so could you check with you know just de de derivate this and substitute here and is that correct or not sir p is 7 correct and q is e power minus 7x whatever right hand side it is coming so if you apply in the general form uh, mm. the e power anti derivative of e power 7x into e power minus 7x so both will cancel each other so e power 0 we will get e power uh, 0 we have strongly multiplied here so e power 7x will be multiplied or e power minus 7x e power 7x into e power minus 7x so that here we wrongly multiply it, then this will yeah, be 7x that, plus 7x. Yeah, that's what I understood. Okay. So let me check with the, you know, what is that? Uh, where is that? This, this, this third. If p is there, then multiply it by this one. Okay, p is there, then e power px, sorry. So there is not minus, so okay. So it will be multiplied by e power 7x, this one. So this will be 1 now, OK. So okay, anti derivative of x is x. Sorry, please go ahead. So this will be 1. And now this is 1. So integration of this is going to be x. Now, if it is this, then y is equal to e power x plus c and e power minus 7x will be multiplied. So this is OK. This is the correct option. Sir, but still the option showing there is wrong. So oh, it is showing e power 7x. Yes, sir. That's wrong. Yeah, this is wrong. This is wrong. Here it will be e power minus 7x. OK, OK. Sir. the second option is going to be correct also sir uh, can you explain uh, lecture number lecture number six so this contain only the examples right So before that, uh, could you explain uh, activity question 12.5, question 2 and 3? Yeah. Because Prithi that has been out. Out. Yes, Prithi. Sir, uh, for the third question of activity uh, of 5, week 12, first two one. Uh, third one, third one. This one. No, sir. Activity of week 12, third one. Sir. Third one. The previous one. So, and Name is asking this one, uh, which second and yes. third you are saying now, right? Yeah. So, second is yesterday we have discussed a lot. Okay. Are you there? Yes, sir. So, are you there uh, yesterday? Sir, no, sir. I was not there yesterday. So, what is the, what is that yesterday we have discussed? A lot this question, we have spent much time. Okay. I will suggest you just go through that because I, I have stayed there and 
discuss with the half and I think 30 minutes. So these both, I, both of these questions. Sorry? Both of these questions. This problem, the second problem. Okay, sir. And I think the third one is uh, absolutely the same. Just the yeah, it pattern. is exactly the same. Yeah. Yes, this is this this two are same. Yes, with the initial condition is given. You just need to substitute and find the value of C one and C two. So what is that? What is how it will be solved? Uh, you know, right? Uh, differential equation, which is you know, right side is so. It first of all there is this differential equation. So let's discuss a bit about. Then you can see that. So is this non-homogeneous or homogeneous number? Sir, uh, in question two. Yes. This is, I think, uh, homogeneous. No. What is the definition of homogeneous? I think, uh, oh, I'm not sure about that. So that's why yesterday we had discussed about this. If the right side is zero, then it will be a homogeneous differential equation. If it is not, then it will be a non-homogeneous. And if a differential equation is non-homogeneous, in that case, two type of solution will exist. First is, we'll substitute here zero and we'll say this is homogeneous system of linear equation and we'll solve that and we'll say the solution is the homogeneous solution. So whatever the solution we'll get for the after substituting zero here right side and that is called homogeneous solution and another thing is this differential equation contain particular solution and what is the particular solution we'll go with the option wise okay here is better to go with the option wise we'll take the first one or second one here is we'll take any one of them okay and assume that this is going to be your particular solution. So what if it is a particular solution, then what is the condition? It will, it should, it should satisfy this differential equation. Okay. And if you check that the first one will not satisfy, the second one will satisfy this differential equation. So particular solution is we'll choose with the options. So here is, it is not given here is if you try with, you know, guess it will not solve here it purposely given that why what is the meaning of particular solution okay so mean to say you have to take the second one differentiate that if you check that the second one is actually going to be a particular solution okay and general solution is the root is you know here is you will get the roots are on a complex number so that's why solution is going to be in the sine and cos and finally c1 t time t by 4 will any any one of them anyone will come the solution so we have discussed this very neat and clean okay i think yesterday one by one we have slowly discussed this 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 one is here okay otherwise it will just contain you know long calculation not a bit long uh, not very long it a small calculation you can check this is we are doing okay Sir. Yes. Yes, Prithvi. Which uh, which you are saying? Which problem? Uh, activity question of week 12, third one, sir. Third. Third question, sir. Sir, uh, in this third question. This one is starting, I was discussing. Okay, sir. But I have a doubt in this, sir. Can we use that? Uh, e to the power x substitution method answer e to the power px ha huh, that is we are going to do that sir but i am getting a confusion with integrating e to the power x divided by 1 plus x square sir. so that is what i was discussing no you were there in from the starting itself so i said i i better to go with the option wise so I did here. So, so that's why I see this one starting. I was discussing. I first the first question I took this. 
and said that okay this is going to be now we'll substitute y is equal to 2 then we'll get this then we'll back to this we'll get this so i i missed that okay this is going to be this part okay so let's choose with the option and choose the correct option that is what i was saying sir uh, could you please explain the glimpse what? update that Sorry? sir could you please explain that uh, we, how we will be going from the options sir? just so option is that time. so see option wise what just take this is you have this function right why i am saying the second option or first option take y is equal to given just differentiate that with respect to x if you differentiate that what is going to be differentiation of an integration the function itself sir. function itself yes the function itself so that's all so and substitute that what is that if you take the second one here if you differentiate this second one this is going to be e power x and this is what e power minus x will be you know first and second part we can do that so e power minus x integration derivative of the first part is we can assume this is the first function this is the second function okay this is the first function this is the second function and derivative of the first part is going to be e power minus x is going to be e power minus x into minus one and second will be as it is now derivative of the second part plus the first part will be as it is derivative of the second part this term is this is not containing any x so this will be zero this term is going to be exactly the same function so this is going to be into e power x one plus one upon one plus x square so this is going to minus one e power minus x 3 square integration to 2x e power x ds and plus here is it will be 1 plus x square now just substitute in the function here in the left side are we getting right side sir, or not yes sir when we are uh, differentiating 3 e to the power square 3 e to the power 2 hmm. it will be a zero sir. yes it will be a zero okay. it will be zero why why it is so? constant it is constant yes okay, so if you substitute in the left hand side is that get we are getting the right hand side or not so we will get here the left hand side is going to be right hand side you can check just substitute here is just need to substitute so this will only the survival term will be this one and rest all here is because of minus is there so rest all will be cancel out this is minus y if your this is y and this is what this is your minus y so if so this is what y prime is y prime is nothing but minus so here is y prime what we are getting y prime y prime getting minus y plus one one x square we are getting see that this is your y this term is your y and this is minus so that means if you substitute here if you substitute here y prime is we are getting minus y plus one upon x square and now this term y which is 1 upon x is 1 upon x square which is right hand side so that's why this is going to be your correct answer sir yes sir could you please explain the last step along, sir? how we are uh, getting the question the last step along, sir? where is that this one yes sir uh, how we are getting this one sir y dash is equal to minus of y plus 1 by h Mm -hmm. oh god what is your y what is your y this is your y right yes sir so is this same as here this one
this is the same right this is your y this is your y right he has here this one is y if you are assuming this is our y so this is the same y right and this is minus y. Okay, so this is minus y yes and this is your plus 1 1 upon 1 plus x square Uh, sir, yes. Uh, is there any other way to identify or to find out antiderivative of uh, e power x divided by one pi x squared itself directly? I don't think there is a way to find the antiderivative. That's why that you know integration is given as the same as integration of two power integration to two x. E power s upon one plus x square. It will be difficult to find that. Okay. Okay. Or okay. if I am, I am also don't know. If you want, we can check here. We have some calculator. I don't know it will give or not. So let's see that. I don't know what is going to be integrated, but it will not work. You know, in exam. So, but for the timing, let's see that what is going to be. So it is a different thing. See, it is a difficult. It is going to be very difficult. See that it is antiderivative of this wouldn't be found. So it is not easy to find. So that's why that problem is given as in the form of integration. Okay. 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 Anyone else have doubt? Yes, sir. I had doubt in. Uh... Question number three of activity question twelve point five. Oh, I think uh, that will be uh, that for that. I'll check the lecture for uh, of yesterday. So other than that, I had. Uh, could you explain lecture twelve point six? Where is that in this lecture? Only sorry, solving some problem. No, no, uh, sir. This uh, is a different concept uh, that has been covered. And I was not able to do uh, uh, exercise twelve point six basically. Where is that in this? What is the timing? Uh, could you explain the concept? Or uh, sir, I think uh, you know. In instead, if you explain how to do activity question twelve point six, that will be better. One, two, three. Okay, which of the following different things represent a, a wave equation? Okay, listed. Okay, which of the following option correct uh, correctly represent the second order differential equation governing the current IT in the given circuit? Consider an RLC series circuit. So here in this problem, you are saying. So concept is that you know uh, you are saying uh, how to find like here is as sir is finding you know the differential equation. So this is a particular problem, and uh, in that problem we have to find. A differential equation with the concept. So what is the here is 
Okay, let me own it. So no, I am not getting that. What is your doubt? How to find the solution of this one? Yeah, that... question one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. So which one, which of the following correctly represent the second order differential equation? Okay. I think uh, this is easy. Uh, we can start from qu question two actually. But okay. still, we'll have to solve question one to solve question two. So. Okay. The circuit is over damped, the critical or under damped okay the first of all what is the meaning of over damped or kt color under damped yes sir, that i know okay so then the third this one no no uh, sir i know the meaning but i don't know how uh how to find the answer what is the meaning here sir over damped is basically when there are two roots critical is there are when there is one root and under damped is when there is no real root there is no real root. Yeah. And what is the over damped? There are two roots. Two roots. When alpha is greater than omega. Okay. But I don't know how to find alpha and omega. This uh, when the circuit is uh, okay. So here is okay. Just a second. Then we have to see. Then a lecture from the lecture is starting. Okay. So here is the meaning of this word. If two real roots, critical is omega is repeat real root. Okay. Okay. So here is that, see, we have the differential equation, no, this one. So which which one represent the correct differential equation of this circuit? No, man. Which one representing the correct differential equation related to this? I'll have to check once. So here is circuit is, okay, so let's see that. So here is given that uh circuit having the resistance of 100 ohm and an in induction l is there of 0 0.1 okay and the capacitor c is of 0 point minus 4 mu f let the source voltage is this 12 v is 12 volt okay so initial is that I zero is going to be zero and I prime is going to be what? I prime zero, I prime zero. What is going to be that? So it actually, is to... uh, can you explain how to solve question one as well? Okay, so here is that's the, here is we'll use only the initial condition. Only we'll use the initial condition. The first initial condition is that as ampere will not provide uh, the you know flow in the circuit then you know zero i zero is going to be zero i zero is zero and the second is the let the source voltage is if you differentiate i then it will give voltage what is the voltage here for that This is okay. This is uh, initial condition. I prime is V 
dc v suffix dc by l so as here see this here the simple meaning is this let the source voltage is given 12 volt so that means here i prime is going to be your 12 volt and uh, yeah I, I think the next is uh, what is the process so i think the, how to find the differential equation from this i think it is given you know i think in the first lecture of you know, what is the how to find out from a circuit to differential equation is i think it is given somewhere okay let's take one where is that where is this See, this is directly implicated here. It is not, you know, you don't order need it, you know. In I, right? so L times See, I this is here. If it is this is given, then by the circuit law differential equation is going to be, you know. Uh, the differential equation is by this way we'll get here. Okay. Yeah. And in fact, the two initial conditions for this thing. So from here we'll, we can conclude this one. The differential equation is uh, Li L suffix I, this one is going to be this. Or uh, and uh, just a second so circuit lies this differential differentiating this we'll get this and this is the second yeah. order you see why that is needed we need in structure then the first order becomes the scale to um, uh, so a known condition let's conjugate known and steady state what will it be in the transients initial conditions i'll, I'll comment on that later you need uh, two initial conditions uh, you need i of uh, some value and then i prime also you need you need two initial conditions for these things uh, you'll see why that is needed okay so what is going to be here this is i double prime t and uh, i double prime t so here is that what is the meaning from here this is tells you the differential equation this will tell you the differential equation okay and uh, this uh, i prime what is going to be coefficient r so r is given here in the what is our case r is given here 10 ohm so if you watch the lecture here is r is r into i prime so what is r r is in our case r is 100 ohm is given so that means which one is which one is representing 100 ohm this is not 100 this is cube is there I think that and then there is error this is a square this should be square r is ohm is there yes and 1 upon c i t c is the voltage what is voltage here c is capacitor no no so, sorry sorry here is c is capacitor is there sir so in the bolt so here is 10 power minus 4 mu f that means this is going to be 10 power minus 4 so it is multiplied and what is here this li l suffix i this one here is not what is this l l is what is l is given this l is 0 0.1 0 0.1 is given so one by one just need to substitute in the so there is no there is no need to go with you know uh are you understanding number what i mean to say sir yes no sir i'm not huh sir can i ask you doubt sir okay uh, let me finish the number uh so Nama, are you understanding number Yeah, yeah, I have solved question one and two. That's all right. Uh, but then, um, 
how do we solve question 3 i mean how do no no how, how to find the first differential equation is that clear so could you show the notepad once uh, so that i know what you how to find how to find the differential equation here yeah this is clear yeah so from the lecture it is it will be clear okay this is the yeah. difference you can just need to substitute so i think the third option is going to be correct yeah correct because no, of, as the source voltage is given 12 volt no no sir second option is correct actually so because we have multiplied each term with 10 actually i think yeah yes yes sir 0.1 is there so yeah, yeah. so it's second actually okay so and uh, after getting this how to find the initial condition it is also told in the lecture so it is just need to if you watch the lecture it it will be very much clear how to find the differential equation okay so this is one i think so okay if it is the second option is correct that's fine now how to find this this is the homogeneous system of linear equation or non homogeneous this is homogeneous or non homogeneous namme sir this one yes uh this sir in uh, right hand side our thing is zero so this should be not uh, non homogeneous i think no this is homogeneous right side is zero then it is homogeneous okay 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 so this is homogeneous system of linear equation and now to how to if it is homogeneous system of linear equation then how we will find the solution it is going to be the just finding the homogeneous solution so we can convert this we can assume that the double derivative as s square and then into single derivative is just as and then 10 to the power 5 and i this it is going to be just as is there sorry so the corresponding this is called characteristic characteristic polynomial it is mean to say how to find that characteristic so this is going to be your from differential equation to getting this second order or quadratic equation i hope it is clear from the lecture no if it is of in this form Second order could be think as x is square. Sorry, yes is square. If it is first order, then s is there, and it is the same as thinking as just a constant term. This is going to be the. Ah, uh, you can write a second order differential equation in this fashion. If it is. If it is y double prime plus y prime plus y is there, then the characteristic polynomial is called. so what is going to be the corresponding quadratic equation s square plus s plus 1 okay this is going to be this one what is the process to get that it is if a this is a is a double prime y okay and b y prime plus c y is there and this is zero then the corresponding uh, quadratic equation is going to be what a s square plus b s plus c is equal to 0 okay this is called this is the way to find the characteristic polynomial or generally you can say the getting the difference uh, sorry a quadratic equation okay and now we'll find the root of this what is going to be root whatever the root will be that is going to be you know what is the root of this quadratic equation what is the root prithvi have doubt yeah hello prithvi what is the doubt sir uh... i'm just getting confused uh, while writing the voltage equation for that rlc circuit sir sorry sorry sir uh, i'm getting confused while i cannot understand the equation of that rlc circuit sir for vs of t okay 
so could you watch the lecture this one have you gone through this one yes sir but uh, i cannot understand why uh, how l i double dash and uh, how differentiation enters into a picture it is just you know if you see here you have to take this one okay is that and the problem this problem in this problem see this is the differential equation this is the differential equation we have here is l is there l value is 0.1 you just need to substitute 0.1 i double prime t okay, r value is given here where is that 100 o 100 i prime okay and next is 1 upon c which is a capacitor c value is given here this one 10 power minus 4 1 upon 10 power minus 4 or whatever the thing is there 10 power minus 4 okay and then this is i is equal to b v prime there is no v prime v prime is that what this is 12 volt is constantly is given so that is going to be zero okay so from here from whatever the values is given okay this one this one and this one just need to substitute whatever in the sir is telling in the lecture okay that's all that's the way to find the differential equation okay sir okay so this is the way to find the characteristic polynomial this is called characteristic polynomial or quadratic equation so is that clear Namai? yes sir uh sir it will be great if you could just explain question three what is the next is question three so general solution we want now so that's why i am saying if what is going to be the root now of this differential equation sorry of this quadratic equation What is the root now? The square method, if you use, then it will be better. If we don't use the square method, so I think this is cube, it will be cube here. If we don't use the square method, then it will be difficult. So, what is the square method? s is going to be minus b so minus 10 cube plus minus b square this is 10 power 6 minus 4 ac 4 and c is going to be 10 power 5 upon 2a which is 2a is going to be 1 so that means this is 10 power minus 3 plus minus this is 10 power 6 minus 4 into 10 power 5 upon 2 Okay, so this is going to be the root. So now what is going to be the function? Y is equal to, so two different root you will get here. So one is that e power minus 10 Q root over A is plus is going to be 10 power 6 minus 4 into 10 power 5 by 2 X. This is one solution. Then other solution e power minus 10 minus root of 10 of minus 6 minus 4 into 10 power 5 into x. So these two solutions will be there. So according to the option we have to choose. So which one is representing the correct one? This is so e power t is there. So this is 
we have to find the value of that this is minus two two four two is there so one root is i think this is minus two to four point forty okay and another root is going to be minus eight eight seventy something is there so you have to check what is going to be the correct one you have to use the calculator what is going to be this value one by one okay now if you have two roots alpha one and alpha two so here is suppose roots are let's say whatever this one we got let's say plus one is alpha one and this one and minus is going to be alpha two okay so two roots alpha and alpha two we got so solution is going to be y is equal to c1 e power alpha 1x plus c2 e power alpha 2x okay please check the alpha values alpha 1 and alpha values using the calculator sir but was in the formula it in, in the case of over damped it hmm. equals to e raised to power minus at uh, into e raised to power omega t minus e raised to power minus omega t Sorry, sir. If Where you could just uh, open, uh, if you could just open lecture twelve point six, uh, add timestamp uh, eight fifteen. At fifteen. Eight fifteen. Eight fifteen. Okay, this is somewhere. Okay. No, no, uh, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, mm. isn't this the formula? And A means antiderivative, right? Which means we need to integrate it. Yes. Yes. So, our case is what is it? It is over damped or critically damped? It is, sir, over damped. Over damped because two different root will get. Okay. Yeah, because I checked, I calculated alpha and omega square, and then I did alpha square. So when I calculated, I found out alpha to be greater than omega. Okay. Yeah, here is that why it is so simply is that you know, ah, uh, so here it have two different root. Simply mean to say here is two different value as it is very much clear that from here it have two. Then it is over damped. Okay, two different roots. So suppose that's why I am saying I'll find alpha one value and alpha two value. Alpha one is positive one, and alpha two is negative one. Use the calculator and find that. Okay. Okay. What is the next step? The solution is going to be c one e power alpha one and c two e power alpha two x. This is the solution. Now we'll use the initial condition. What is the initial condition? We'll substitute y is zero. So here is so x is not there. T is there. So T will substitute here T. Okay, and this is y is there. So what is that? Uh, in our case, if if it is in the correct uh, notation, so I is there. No, so it is not there. Y it is I is there. So this is I is equal to so which is I T. I is equal to this will get. So here I zero is equal to. Now initial condition is given. I zero is equal to zero. So let's substitute here. So this is I zero, which is zero. Okay. Here is C one e power zero t. Sorry, alpha one into zero plus C two alpha two alpha two zero. That means I zero is equal to zero is given. That means C one plus C two is equal to Zero, you will get. This is one. Now we'll derivate this one. So please find the alpha one and alpha two value. Okay, using calculator, I am. I'm not finding the alpha one and alpha two value. Alpha one value is positive one, positive. This one will take, and alpha two is negative one. So sir, won't we use that formula uh, given in the lecture? No, it is exactly on the way of whatever I am solving. It is exactly on the way whatever I am solving. See that this is the same way. What is happening here, omega? If you are using, see, finally you will get the same thing. What is it is? It is not different method. It is exactly what we are solving it here. 
because why I, why i'm saying this the reason is we have some problem we have some differential equation we want to find the solution just solution with the initial condition is given so this is the process to solve the second order differential equation sorry saying in the in that oh, form yes 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 got it got it okay sorry saying in that form we are solving with the mathematical way that's all so you, uh, we found out the roots right yes we found out that we will find the roots sir so actually Now, better no. and we'll substitute here so this is going to be solution now second order second uh, initial condition is y prime 0 is given so let's differentiate this so if you differentiate y prime is going to be c1 c1 alpha 1 e power alpha 1 t plus c2 alpha 2 e power alpha 2 t and this is given 0 or sorry 120 120 is i is prime 0 is given so this is that means this is 120 is equal to c1 alpha 1 here it will be 0 so it will become 1 plus c2 alpha 2 So you have two equation, one and two. You have to find the alpha one, alpha two value. Solve these two equation using the system of linear equation. That's all. Okay. Now nothing is remain. Just need to do the calculation. Okay. Clear. clear na mai yes sir yes sir okay now sir uh, how about question 4 okay the next question is there consider the example rlc series circuit with the nlc source discussed in the lecture which of the following represent the steady state solution Where is that? Sir, I think uh, yeah, yeah, it is in twelve point six towards the end. But I think, uh, sir, honestly, uh, will it even come in the exam? These types of questions. No, 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 no. It will never come like this. No. <laughs> oh, how it could be? It is. See, here it is just for practice. But so see, even not circuit will be given. How it could be? Because this is not using no. This is this one is not using any concept. No, it is so. Sorry, beyond the you know mathematical concept, it is using circuit concept. So oh, nice. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. So even this question will will not come. Oh, okay. so okay, these questions only will not come. These undamped and overdamped, all of these. Even on the circuit itself, very less chance to come. Oh, very okay. less. Okay, only you see what is the purpose here. Here is the purpose. You have. You, you, the purpose is you will get the idea to know what is the use of differential equation and how to solve the differential equation. This is the only meaning. Here is the activity problem given like this. Why? Because you have to see the lecture and then solve. Hmm. Without looking that, if you start solving, you will not get the idea what is RLC circuit. So you have to go see the lecture and then what? See that what is RLC RLC circuit. how you are getting the differential equation and how once you got that okay this is the differential equation finally so that's why i said please tell me which one is your the differential equation is there if it is second option is differential equation now on math it is exactly on mathematics that just find the solution we have some initial condition we have the dif differential equation now we know the concept to solve the differential equation second order which is the way find the characteristic polynomial find the roots of that find the value of e, so substitute e power something is there e power something is there now use the initial condition way to find the constant c1 and c2 got it, got it. and so lastly uh, uh, how do we solve question 5 i mean i'm sure it will not take a lot of time it's a oral question but i have doubt in the concept which one this five, fifth one this fifth fifth one Yeah, which of the following differential equation represent a wave equation? 
okay so so wave equation is what uh, so it is not using the concept it is from the lecture itself i think sir is somewhere used the wave equation name and directly it is uh, so i think somewhere it will be i don't know where is that place wave okay okay maybe <clears throat> So wave equation, you know, till as of I know, I, I actually I didn't go through the lecture. We know only the concept. So so no, even I have gone through the lecture, but exact place I don't know. So what is the wave equation? Wave equation is y double prime plus alpha y, and something is there. This is the wave equation. Something is there. So somewhere, sir, got it, sir. This is exactly what they're asking. Uh, trying to ask. Yeah, got it. So somewhere, sir, sir, use the name wave and what is the type of that wave equation? We have to only choose that correct, which one is matching with the type of that this form. This one. Got it, sir. And sir, lastly, could you explain uh, practice assignment question three? Prithvi, I don't know you are getting that or not. Which problem? Question three. Okay. How much time it? Uh, how much time is required it to cool from 0 degree celsius to 30 degree celsius for reference answer of question 2 is uh, b d yeah okay if it is d is then uh, so i don't know which one is correct is the d option is correct no no sir b b sorry b if b is correct then this is a differential equation and we want to find the solution of it what is the solution of this it is just you know integration integrating this t is yes, equal to but we have k as a constant right uh, huh, oh so, yeah k is a constant say so still, i wasn't able to solve this one so k will be rectified no with some 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 information surely it will be given what is that some in, initial condition is given something is there we have to find the final solution using that see uh, sir i believe we should be given the exact value of k other than that uh, i'm not sure how to solve and that's why i was asking although uh, the initial condition is a body is heated 200 degrees celsius and plays uh, in the air at 20 degrees celsius after an hour, its temperature is 30, uh, 60. 60 so degrees. This is an initial condition, but there is no uh, mention of K. Uh, okay, so, okay. Uh, surrounding medium. Uh, the body is heated 100 degrees. The differential equation uh, for the temperature T is. Okay. 100 degree celsius and placed in the air at 20 degree celsius okay after one hour the temperature is 60 degree celsius okay just a second surrounding medium okay so if we assume t is a function so 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 here is that you know t is so d d t of t is going to be a proportional to here is directly proportional to so that means here proportional to t minus 20 surrounding the place is 20 temperature difference okay so this is that means 
the corresponding differential equation is going to be k time t minus 20. So this is we got. So this is the differential equation. Now what is the solution of this? t equal to k means integration of. So here is okay. So this is going to be k t. So this is this means here d d t and uh, t is there minus k t is equal to minus 20 k. So solution is going to be what in this case e power minus k t correct means uh, not solution means here we will need, need to multiply e power minus k t to find the solution. So that means here. Sir, yes, I cannot understand the question, sir. Could you please uh, repeat the question? Here is rate of change of temperature of a body is directly proportional to the temperature difference between the body and its surrounding medium. Okay, okay, sir. Rate of change of temperature that means d d t of t rate of change so this tells you the rate of temperature this is okay. proportional to the temperature difference between the body and the surrounding medium so here is the placed at 20 degree celsius okay heat is at 100 degree and placed at 20 degree celsius so that means surrounding temperature is 20 degree celsius Okay, so that means if you are assuming our differential equation as a d d t means temperature difference is d d t of t. So that means t time this is. This is the temperature difference. Okay, sir. And now we are solving this. So this is we have. Now we have differential equation. We are solving this differential equation. Sir. So, yes. Sir, we are considering that the surrounding temperature is constant, which is 20 degrees Celsius, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, sir. Now we are multiplying in this differential equation minus by minus e power kt. Okay. So this is going to be finally what? This is t of e power minus kt t. If you multiply both sides by e power minus kt. This one so that means this prime is equal to 20 k e power minus kt you will get so finally what is that this is e power minus kt t is equal to this integration of this part what is going to be integration of this part What is antiderivative? E power minus kt upon minus k plus c, right? This is correct. Namai, I don't know Namai is there or not. Yes, yes, sir. I'm there. I'm there. So, are you understanding, or with we both of you? This is going to be antiderivative of this one is going to be this. Sir, I, I cannot understand the part how we are uh, getting into that e to e power form. What is the way to solve a first order differential equation, man? This is why. That I understood, sir. Sorry? That I understood, sir. But in this case, how are we using that one? Here is your, this is your P. This is your Q. So what okay, is sir. This is minus e power minus kt. That's all. That's the way. This is minus e power minus kt. So, so that's why k is a constant. K is a proportional constant. We are continuing with that. K. Okay. So this will be cancelled out by this. So finally, we got e power minus kt t equal to this minus minus become plus 20 e power minus k t plus c now if you multiply both side by this side e power kt so it will be what t equal to 
20 e power minus kt plus c e power kt and now this is 20 e power e power kt into e power kt sorry kt plus c time e power kt will get so this will be one now so 20 plus c e power T equal to we got this is the we have now what is the next information after one hour so what is that body is heated to 100 degree and place is at 20 degrees Celsius after one hour its temperature is 60 60 degrees Celsius Sir, yeah. sir, uh, with what unit of time did we derive the uh, this differential equation, sir? What unit of time? Yes, sir. Because in this case, uh, at last they are asking for an hour, no, sir. However, will this equation will be satisfying for? Uh, so assume any 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 unit in second or minute or hour everywhere okay. it's the same. Uh, just you need you need to find the numeric value okay sir okay also sir can you solve it using uh, the formula formula is what i mean there's a direct uh, direct substitution that happens to find uh, the answer of any such uh, equation and that is you simply take e to the power mm -hmm. r x where r is the coefficient of uh, here e, r is right. simply r is simply uh, minus k okay mm, yes minus k yeah, yeah that's minus k you multiply it with q q t and here yes. q t is basically uh, if you just scroll up one second 20k uh, yeah yeah 20k uh, yeah, no, no, it's minus 20k. Yes, minus 20k. And you integrate it together. Yes. You will get the middle term. Then yes. you multiply it with e raised to power minus rx. And that will become e raised to power, uh, min, uh, e raised to power uh, plus k. Yes. Then we add c with it. And again multiply c with e raised to power plus k. Yes. And that's our answer. Yes, this is the error t is equal to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your t. Yeah, yeah, okay. I got this. Now, how do we solve after this? Now, we have to find, no, we using, we have to finally find the value of, you know, it is c and k. So that's why here is that uh, it is placed at 100 degree and, uh, sorry, body temperature is 100 and the place at 20 after one hour its temperature is 60 degrees celsius that sure. means if t equal to 1 if t is equal to 1 t of 1 is equal to then temperature is 60 degrees celsius that means this side is 60 degree so this is this tells you the temperature so this is 60 equal to 20 plus c e power k okay so that means here uh, c value is going to be what so this is 40 is equal to c e power k this imply c is equal to 40 into e power minus k so if we get the value of k then it is fine and the what is going to be value of k what is the value of k we'll get here? So we don't need sir, also. Huh? Uh, as per now, uh, we don't have the value of c and k also, sir. No, k, k value will get from here, from the information. Something I'm missing. Okay, just a second. So what is the k value is going to be? 
okay value is we'll get from here this is temperature difference okay this is the corresponding differential equation we'll get where k is a positive constant okay This is uh, k value should be given. So, what is the next step? How much time is required to cool 100 degree to 30 degree? K value is required here. Uh, from information, k value is not given. Okay. Key value is from here. Key value is not given. Key value is needed. Here should be in information. Key value is missing. Hmm. It is at 100 degree and this is 20 degree. We got after one hour, the temperature is 60 degree. So this is 100. Activity is raised of change of this is hundred degree. Hundred degree will be used to you know find that K value sixty. Okay, one one condition is that T of zero is going to be hundred degrees Celsius. We missed that. At starting, which is T at zero is equal to hundred is right. Okay, so this is one thing. T of zero is equal to hundred. So by this way we will get the value of. So one is that C is equal to this one. Okay, so one is we got this and a second is 100 equal to 20 plus c e power 0 into t so here is uh, c is equal to 80 80 will get here so that means c is equal to 80 is equal to 40 e power minus k and this tells you e power minus k is equal to two correct so this implies log value will take log of okay minus k is equal to e and this is log two simply k is equal to minus log two oh. Okay, so just a second. I think this is this is we got. So this is so T of hundred is equal to so in this equation hundred is equal to twenty C twenty plus C e power K T K zero. So this tells you C is equal to eighty we got and now K value we want. So this is T one is equal to sixty. So this is sixty is equal to 20 plus 8, oh, sorry, this is going to be 60. 
60. No, this is 80, no, this is 80, sorry, this is 80. T e power kt, this is going to be minus 40 is equal to 80 into e power kt. T1 is equal to 60, T1 is equal to 60. C value we got 80, okay, this is going to so, sorry, this is minus 14 or 40. This is okay. So, here is this 1 by 2 is equal to e power kt. So, so, sorry, k is 1 is there. So, this is kt 1 1. Why it is minus k is there we substituted here. This is c is our 80. C is our 80. Okay, this is 20. So 40 is equal to 80 e k. This implies 1 is equal to 2 e k. This implies uh, we'll take the log value. So log 1 is equal to log 2 plus k time log 1 log, uh, sorry, log e. Sir. This is 0 is equal to yeah, minus log 2. So k we are getting minus log 2. Sir. So, sir. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Sir, how the left hand side became 40, sir? No, no, here is the same, same. k is equal to log 2. So from here we will solve. So there is an error. I think there is an error. So that's why we are getting a tough. This is an error. K is, K is minus log 2 we are getting. And log 2 value is minus log 2 we are getting. So, okay, if here it is minus log 2. Okay, okay. So log 2, okay. So if we are getting K is equal to minus log 2. So, okay, fine. Now we want to find uh, the time t. So let's substitute here. Okay, let's see that what is going to be the next step. So this is going to be from 60 to 30 we want. How much time it's, it is taking from 60 to 30? What is that problem? Sorry, 100 to 30 degree. How much time required it to cool from 100 degree to 30 degree. So the temperature is 30, 20 plus C is 80 we got and E power or E power K value is what? E power K value is 1 by 2. Directly from here we'll substitute E power K is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2. No, e power kt value, sorry, e power minus log 2 t is, you want t value. Okay, so this is 10 is equal to 80 into e power minus log 2 into t. This is 1 by 8. So, so something is there, some, some wrongness is there. Something is there. So log value should not be negative. K value is not should be negative because it is already given here positive. This K is positive. Okay, we'll check it. Okay, this will check. Okay, in that there is a problem. Okay, now we'll check it. There is a problem. K value we are getting negative here. So there is an issue in that. Okay, sir. Thanks a lot yeah. for confirming.
थैंक यू सर या थैंक्स थैंक्स